Hello there folks, welcome to Octavian server, I'm your host, Kvagram the Artistic Duck. And I'm starting a new uh, series here, to learn, run in parallel with the uh, racetrack series. Because, um, yeah, I got an idea of um, making a map shop. And yeah, I got a dragon add-on because I uh, recently did a dragon bust. Which you will also find a video of, um, should be uploaded close to this one, so it'll be for after this one, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm having spawn, and uh, I got the mission to use this entire plot of land, all the way from this uh, woodshop over here, to the end of the street. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's just a long piece of land, but it's also... Well, it's not as wide as I'd like it to be, but that's just the street is. That's for, um, the thing is, the thing I want to make here is a, well, as you can see here, a map gallery and shop. So, I want to show up some maps. And I want to show up some really huge maps. Basically, I want to make a copy of the uh, map I got at my base and put it here. And that map is uh, 16 by 15 blocks. And yeah, of course, I don't put that on the wall. That's on the floor, which means I need floor space of 16 times 15. And if you look here, one, two, oh, that's not so easy with. Uh, hmm. Need something good to measure this with. <laughs> I should have thought. Of, I should have planned ahead for that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's just. Barely enough space. So yeah. Also, yeah, finally got a uh, shade running. Unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't work well with um, the map mods I'm using because the map is running Forge and Optifine doesn't run on Forge yet, and I haven't gotten any uh, map mods to run with. Um, Fabric, the alternative, but then I haven't seen uh, Optimizer Fabric either, so <laughs> yeah, um, gonna have to switch between. Also, I can't see, uh, I can't see outlines uh, on a selected block when I'm using Optifine here, so that's that's a bug. Hope to fix that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I got shaders, so that's uh, awesome. Should probably get some good uh, texture pack with it. So yeah, um, as for um, the build I'm gonna make, uh, I want to have uh, it's gonna have a basement, and it's going to have at least uh, I'm hoping for at least two floors. Though that head, that uh, wither uh, blast over there, what they were gonna call it might be a little bit in the way, so it, that limits my build. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly who built it, but I think it was Adam, so I might hear it Adam if I could move that a little bit up. Woohoo! Become a patron before... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this might not be in the perfect context, but uh, it, it, it is actually <laughs> April the 1st, so... <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day! Of course, the <laughs> this episode will be up a lot later than that, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Coincidentally, I did just upgrade my Patreon uh, on this, and oh, here's another bug with Optifine and the shaders. It really doesn't like banners. Hope that gets fixed soon. 
But yeah, uh, back on topic. I want to go for a uh, modern style build for this. To fit with the other uh, buildings around here. You see that with this uh, shop over here. It has a lot of glass and... Uh, yeah. Um, these weird supports go wrapping around. Um, this one too has a lot of glass though. Uh, it's a more abstract build I would say. Um, then of course we have the... Uh, I think this also is a wood shop. This... Uh, Macbanalds. Panalds. <laughs> Yeah, these two, um, actually I remember we had a contest, I wonder if this has even been moved yet, no, <laughs> the ethereal fruit is still here, that's fun, it's really funny, that hasn't been cleared out yet, <laughs> but yeah, this is also a very modern style with, I think this is concrete, white concrete, so we're gonna go for something similar. But yeah, uh, the biggest challenge is of course that um, there isn't enough space, so uh, the trick is, and I got um, permission for this from uh, from Chris, our admin, so that I could actually dig uh, under the uh, roads here to get some extra floor space for the basement. So yeah, uh, that's uh, plans uh, laid out, so um, I think the... Uh, the first thing uh, to do is to dig out this area, get as far down as we can get before we hit the uh, the spawn basement, which I should probably show off at some point, because that's a really nice empty room. But yeah, uh, dig down as far as I can before hitting uh, the uh, the spawn basement, and yeah, just try to. Um, Design something that would uh, fit the area. Yeah, and then we're gonna have barrels of fun. Get it? Because the temporary storage is mostly barrels. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Anyways, I think I might take off the dragon. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. There. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna get started with this and I will see you in a couple of seconds. And I'm back. And yeah, I made some progress. So, um, yeah, this is uh, how deep down the basement can possibly go. Because if I dig one block further down, let's see if I can aim this right. Yeah, now we are in the game room, the basement of the spawn. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I fall down there a couple of times while uh, digging out that uh, hole over there. And I'm still not done. I need to uh, dig in a few blocks uh, towards the road, um, just get back up there. But yeah, in case you don't know about the uh, the game room, we got uh, some chess, some uh, checkers. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but uh, something I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, and a uh, PvP arena. Oh, I never actually been in it. Arena reset, I'm not sure what that does. But yeah, it's a <laughs> pretty fun thing to have just hidden under spawn. Let's connect four. And all around here we have a uh, bolt race, which inspired a horse race. So, <laughs> yeah, but uh, this episode is not to show off the, uh, the game room, just that. Yeah, it's pretty close. So, let's get back.
So yeah, I'll take up another space here. <laughs> okay, so uh, I have started on uh, digging up some space under the uh, under the road, and uh, yeah, the thing about digging out uh, the over here is I need to secure the uh, I need to secure the blocks under the road, which is made of gravel, which means. I have to uh, rebuild the roads. <laughs> this is kind of annoying. But hey, I, I want some proper stone there, so I know that's the boundary. So, that's just... If you don't do it now, it will have a high risk of winning. There's a high risk of to do it later, so... Yeah. I have to do it now. Place these dirt blocks with uh, proper stone, and yeah, then I just uh, replaced all the gravel. I'm gonna finish doing this all the way around, and I will be back. So, see you in a couple of seconds, and I'm back. So, uh, everything has been dug out. And there's solid blocks around the entire place. I'm sure there's a little bit of uh, diorite and uh, granite and andesite. And some stone bricks for my lovely shop neighbor who has something going on on the ground. <laughs> and there's a uh, little bit of sandstone there for uh, well, one simple reason. <laughs> Because someone left a chest underground here. I don't know who owns this. And it's been here for uh, probably a year. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably been there for a year. Because uh, that shop there has been there a long time. So, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to touch it. I don't want to take the stuff in there. Not that it's worth much, but the clay might be worth a little bit. But yeah, uh, I don't feel like taking it, so I'll just leave it there. Oh, a bit of uh, gravel. Well, gravel is valuable, uh, since I'm going to go for concrete. Oh, uh, I should probably dig this out. Uh, but Ah, I wait. <laughs> wait until this video is done. All right, so um, let's go. Ahead. What am I going to do with this? I might ask. Well, well, um, I am not entirely sure about how we're going to do the layouts and everything. I do know one thing that I have decided upon, and then I need to double check that I still have space to do that. So uh, I'm going to do a mock up. Let's see. Let's go for some. Uh, Glowstone at the bottom, then some audio frames to host the maps. Then above that, there's going to be let's just put some uh, something simple in. Uh, let's pretend that these are maps. They very much are not, but okay, let's pretend that. Okay, and now let's see, is this possible? No, of course not. Okay, so that's something I should look out for. <laughs> if I was allowed to just put glass over the item frames, then damn, I would do it. Alright, put in my pretend map again. Okay, let's see. If this is the floor of the basement of the shop, then I still have three blocks of space above. Let's say I want to have some roofing at the top block. That gives me four blocks of uh, floor space. Okay, it's uh, minimal, but... Um, well, <laughs> it's better than three blocks, and it's better than two blocks. So four blocks, that's that's fine. You can even do some uh, sliding of the roof, so... Okay. 
So I'm going to um, fill the uh, bottom area here with glowstone. And if I can get enough item frames, I'm gonna fill it to item frames too. And then when I am ready to put in maps, the huge maps, then uh, yeah, I'll just uh, subdivide the uh, areas of uh, glowstone and item frames with uh, more glass. Let's put some labels on uh, on the basement floor. And to uh, place the maps and such, I'm going to put in an access using, um, yeah, using trapdoors, so, so that you are forced into a um, prone position. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, let's see how well I can execute that plan. Yeah, probably going to use scaffolding to get down and then just a trapdoor, not sure how. I'll figure it out. I'll figure that out. Alright, so I'm just gonna place some glowstone and yeah, I'll be back in a uh, couple of seconds. And it's done. Well, I couldn't afford to do glowstone the entire way, so yeah, I spent some iron to get the lanterns. It was not very expensive too, but at least I got the surplus of iron. <laughs> So yeah, uh, what's missing is to put um, item frames over all of this, and then glass over that again. But that's gonna be something for a later episode. So uh, for now, I gotta pick up these uh, very precious resources here. And I have something somewhere very, very important to put those. Whoop. <laughs> very, very important. Very precious. Yep. All right. So um, I'm going to continue with the uh, race track project. So uh, to get the next episode of that done, and I'll be back later with uh, with the map project. So uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you. Kvagram out.